Hi, welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey. And today we're going to be talking about how to create a bookmark within Power BI. So let's take a look and get started. So here we are inside the Power BI desktop. And what we're going to be doing today is creating bookmarks or isolated views of our Power BI report. And so I have this chart that looks nice, but I want a table with additional information. Now I can just right click and click show as table, but it just gives me numeric values. It doesn't give me really that granular or detailed report I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in a table. And in this table, I'm going to add similar information from this visual. So I want total banks. Let's get the uh, let's get the bank name. Let's get total banks, the year, and let's do the state as well. So a little bit more uh, detailed information than we got from the other chart, but you can see uh, you can add whatever additional information that you'd like. So what I'm going to do is create a button that allows my end user to click and switch between the chart view and this table view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up a little bit so it looks like it's sitting on top of this other visual. So I'm just going to line that up so it looks about the same. And there's two things we need to turn on when creating bookmarks. So we're going to go to the top. We're going to go to our view tab or ribbon and we're going to turn on the bookmarks and selection pane. So bookmarks and selection pane. So I'm going to close down the visualization for now. And I'm going to close down my fields pane just to give us a little more room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a blank button. So if I go to insert. So something to note that what I'm doing can actually be done on any of these three items. So a button, a shape, or an image can all be set up as bookmarks uh, or, or actionable items uh, to load your bookmarks. Let me say that, okay? In this case, I'm gonna be choosing a blank button, but you can choose a shape or an image to do the same exact thing that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna insert a blank button and I'm going to make this a little bit big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up my format options. I'm going to format this button. I'm going to turn on the button text. So I'm going to turn on the button text. And I'm going to call say this one is a click for table view. Click for table view. So this is my first button. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a second button. So the second blank button and we'll make these uh, the same in here in just a second. So once again, I'm going to go over to the button text and turn it on. This one I'm going to say click for chart view all right so we have two different buttons now so we have click for table view click for chart view so what we're going to do is we're going to make these buttons what we call pixel perfect we're essentially going to line them up on top of each other uh, same x and y position and the same width and height so as the user clicks from table to chart view they don't notice any change uh, between the buttons location so you don't want that button shifting ever so slightly left or right. You want it right on top of the other one. So what I'm going to do is I like the position of this one right here. So I'm going to use this one as my template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the general options of the button. So I'm going to select the button and go into the general options. And we have four different num numbers here. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. So 183, 97, that's the X and Y position. So 183, 97. So I'm gonna click on the other button. So 183, 
So now it's in the same exact position. And I'm using the selection pane to select the button that I want. So notice it's it's selecting a, a different location. So I want the 266, 69. Perfect. So what you can do is if you're not sure which button you have selected, so notice it says click for table view, but you're not exactly sure which button is actually um, over here in our selection pane. So we're going to name them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the first one. So if I hide both the buttons, notice nothing pops up. So if I pop this one up, it says click for table view. So I'm going to call this one my table button. Okay. And then this other one should say click for chart view. So I'm going to call this one my chart button. So I have my chart button and I have my table button. All right. And so now that we have our buttons labeled in our uh, selection pane, it's going to make it a lot easier to figure out uh, exactly what we're going to be hiding and showing. So I'm going to start off with my chart. OK, so I want to get rid of this table and I want it to essentially just show the chart. So I'm going to hide the table. So I'm going to hide the table right here. And I'm also going to hide the chart button. So what I wanted to say is I wanted to show the chart. Here's my chart and I wanted to say click for table view. Those that's the button that I want open the table button. So notice in the selection pane. OK, I have my table button and then I have my total banks by state. That's my chart. So then I'm going to bookmark this. I'm going to bookmark this as my first view. This is my chart view. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this one real quick. So I'm going to add a new bookmark and I'm going to call this one my chart view. All right, so I have my chart visible. And I have click for table view button popping up. All right. So now we're going to turn everything back on. So I'm going to turn everything back on and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to hide the table button now. So it's going to say click for chart view. And then I'm also going to hide the chart as well. So what I have appearing are these two pieces. So the button, click for chart view, and the table visible, OK? So this is what I'm going to call my table view. So once again, in the bookmarks pane, I'm going to add a new bookmark, and I'm going to call this one my table view. All right, perfect. So there's only uh, a few more things we need to do to actually make this work. So we have our two views. So notice I'm going to close my selection pane now. As I click back and forth between the chart view and the table view, it says click for table view with the chart. And then when I go to the table view, it's got the table and it says click for chart view. Perfect. So all I have to do now is put an action on the button itself. So on the, I'm going to start from this one. So I'm going to select my button. And over in the format option, so click for chart view, there's a action setting. Okay, we're going to turn that on. So we're going to turn the action setting on. And by default, it is a back button. We're going to change it to a bookmark. And then what bookmark? So when they click that button, I want them to take, uh, take the user to the chart view. Okay, so bookmark chart view. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing. So on the chart view, I'm going to select the table button. I'm going to turn the action on. And I'm going to say this one is a bookmark, but instead I want this one to go to the table view. OK, so turn on the action for the button. We're going to make it a bookmark and we're going to select the bookmark that we're going to use. So now if I hold my control key down, I should be able to switch back and forth between my views. Perfect. So notice what the, the tooltip says. It says control plus click here to follow the link. Okay, so we could put additional tooltips on there. 
uh, as well. But I think the button serves as a, uh, a perfect a descriptor for what we want to do. So in the final phase of this, when we publish the report, the end user is not going to have to hold the control key down. But now it's going to look very dynamic, switching back and forth. And it, even though we're staying on the same page, you can use this, this idea of bookmarks to guide your end user in a path that you want to have them take. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope this bookmark video helps you in the future. I'll see you next time.